the total of the people was last year and the year before. It's 1.9 per 1,000. The U.S. robbery rate is 22,155 reported is 0.6 per 1,000. That means the rate of robbery, the robbery in San Antonio is double the, the national, the national average. The San Antonio Police Department uh, Officers Association opposed to the Charter Amendment. I just want to read an excerpt from what the President said. Cycle and release policy is already in place for misdemeanors. However, this chapter char charter wants to expand the policy even further. Expanding this policy would encourage repeat offenses for vandalism, shoplifting, and theft of services, which will in turn destroy tourism, harm honest businesses, and eliminate jobs. Taking discretion discretionary measures away from our officers and not before is reckless. This proposition essentially decriminalizes de 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 shoplifting, theft, and property damage across our city. The, city. the safety of our city and citizens is our top priority. SAPOA wants voters to stay informed and ask questions before they vote. I agree, I agree with the police association. It is reckless, foolhardy, and dangerous to pass this resolution as it stands. The San Antonio Justice Policy Petition defies common sense and insults the intelligence of the citizens of San Antonio. You all do it all to protect and defend the security and well-being of the people of San Antonio to safeguard the common good, that is, uphold the law, and serve the interests of the people of San Antonio to the best of your abilities. The people are not your servants. You serve the people of San Antonio. If the city councilmen are blind to the office there, which should be duty by the end of your vote, just step down. Let others, grown ups. Yes. Thank you, Phil.
the child loses his mind. The mother and the dad are affected, and if you know, the baby loses on this one, just through the nine months after that, the baby is adopted. But the point is that this thing should not be on there, even if it were a single issue either. And, and I need to drive that point home. Yeah, Paul. Amen. From his mother or her mother, different from the mother's DNA, different from the mother's DNA. Therefore, the baby is not part of the mother's body, but rather the baby is entrusted to the mother's body. A glorious blessing handed down, handed down to her from God. The baby is not a mere clump of cells because a clump of cells has no potential to manifest itself as a human being at any time. On the other hand, the baby is an immediate and continuous developing development and is a complete human being who simply is merely very young and early in precious God-given life. Let Christ, let Christ resensitize your conscience. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. You all wish not to have been aborted, therefore do not abort babies. Thank you. Amen. Yeah. Where'd Jim Murphy go? He stayed outside. How do you see? I think he's outside. Look out the window. You can go out that door and look out the window. See if you can stand there talking to Weston.
who have been victimized over and over from lack of respect in their health and community. They don't know how to help people. They're not taught. They don't understand harassment. They don't make lack of responsibility taking their job seriously. And several officers only can get case number and they walk away. Is that the legal thing to do in this town here in Tony, Texas? Is just to give you a case number? Of course, that's what they're asked for. But then they don't want to tell you like how to do it seriously. Because people, I thought that was a police department. I can step and I got one of them. It's like I'm trying to step. But anyway, that's just that's that part. Um, I think it was that question. Uh, where else do I work? Like, that was another one. Like, parks and, and uh, certain, certain places that don't have um, restrooms and several locations that need restrooms, like, in different different types of them. We can do the unisex restrooms. It doesn't matter. We have to have different types. But, like, we need to work on the parks. We need to work on the extra so we don't have. Thank you for the time. Are you done? Good. Well, it would have been better if they let us sign up to speak. He's not in here. He would sit over here. Um, the city manager sits over there with a the black gentleman standing. And then the city attorney would sit, it, would sit right there with a woman sitting. Where the, she's still by her computer. Not sure who. When are they going to make this vote? Tomorrow morning. What time? They start at 9. And, um, hold on a second. Let's see, we have a little conversation here. While this is, um, <laughs> while this is going on here in the background, um, I'm going to have a little conversation with Father Clay Hunt, who uh, joined us from Outside of San Antonio. <laughs> so welcome, welcome to sit back to San Antonio. I tell him I'm always on the move. It's hard to hit a moving target. Yeah, that's right. So uh, Father Clay's just asking what's going to happen tomorrow. So this vote on the unjust justice policy vote will take place. I think it's uh, agenda item number five on the uh, A session agenda, the council A session agenda tomorrow, Thursday, February 16th. And uh, it starts at 9 a.m. So if you can sign up to speak at saspeakup.com, as in San Antonio speakup.com, saspeakup.com. That's the safest way to do it. You can sign up here. I'd certainly be here by 8.40 uh, a.m. to sign up. You know, it takes some time to park and get down here. We uh, try to come in to speak, and they change the time for a 5 o'clock session from 4.45 sign up to 4.40 p.m. And we were out, had the press conference. We're not able to get in to speak, but we did have a couple people that were signed up. And uh, so we appreciate them speaking. Uh, Phil Sevilla, Paul Kumo, and a uh, man named uh, George, but I'll have to go meet him. We haven't met him yet. So, uh, again, this is all about the unjust justice policy that is going to decriminalize theft up to $750 per incident, decriminalize graffiti up to $2,500 per incident, it's going to decriminalize abortion, although the state of Texas laws are very clear about the protection of women and children. And it will decriminalize marijuana and other controlled substances. And in these decri decriminalization, it will mean that people are not arrested. They might be cited and released. They might just be given a verbal warning. And yet it allows them, the so-called justice policy allows them to create any form of identification, Father. Any form of identification. They create a business card of their own and uh, that, says, that says that they... 
uh, or somebody. It can be any any name they put on there, and there's not going to be any verification. They can call. You can have them call somebody if they are, they are uh, taking uh, about to cite you. They can you can call someone and verify who you are, and so you can be all set up. So that's what happens there, and then. Uh, they are going to criminalize if a San Antonio police officer takes upon themselves to exercise state of, state of Texas laws on abortion crime, then they will criminalize that and prosecute them potentially. On top of that, it's going to create a new city employee position, a justice director, like a justice czar that George Rodriguez, El Conservador, referred to it as, be the equivalent of the city manager. The justice director cannot have any law enforcement background and they will consult with the same groups that have pat, have put this, gotten this justice, so-called just policy put on the ballot. Act for SA, Ground Game Texas out of Austin, very leftist organizations, tops, Texas organizing projects, and the dark money comes from Democrats, uh, Act Blue, and across the nation and state. And then they will also, uh, in creating that uh, justice director, they will, uh, those people not be, will not be arrested, they'll be cited, but they will be issuing judgment down with no law enforcement background. So we encourage you to go to sanantoniofamilyassociation.com forward slash prop as in proposition, sanantoniofamilyassociation.com forward slash prop, find out more information. Come down and join us. Sign up at sapeak.com. Leave your comments at the bare minimum. Otherwise, come down and join us and speak against, I think it's agenda item number five, at the Council A session, San Antonio City Council A session tomorrow. Thursday, February 16th, 9 a.m. is when it starts. So be down here a little bit early. And uh, let's let the mayor and council know that they need to uphold Texas laws and not subvert them. They have a responsibility to the people who elected them more so than they do city staff and any other left-wing radical organization. The people of San Antonio are going to be harmed by this. Businesses are going to be harmed by this. Costs of everything are going to go up because of, the, of thievery. So this breaks the, the, uh, the fifth commandment. Seventh commandment, eighth commandment, then tenth commandment. And if you go by Exodus chapter 20 in the commandments, and you could tell us better than that, but, but I think I'm right. And, um, so Exodus chapter 20 verse 13 is the fifth commandment, thou shalt not kill, and it, and it will decriminalize abortion. In the seventh commandment, thou shalt not steal. It's going to allow and condone, comply with criminals. The city cannot comply with criminals, and they cannot allow this to happen. Theft up to $750 per incident, graffiti up to $2,500 per incident. If this happens at any business, church, parish, church, or anything, it's going to drive up the cost of everything. When you go shop somewhere, HEB or any other private mom-and-pop shop, they're going to have to spend more money on security. It's an unfunded city mandate is what it will become for more security because you can't afford to have all these people walking out with $750 worth of goods and services each time getting away with it, not being prosecuted, because everybody else is going to have to pay for it. Insurance costs are going to go up. So in these insurance costs, when people will claim more on insurance, we all pay for people who don't have insurance already with motors. Your uninsured motors, your liability covers you, but if you cover comprehensive coverage, it covers un uninsured motorists. And there's a lot, 50% of the motorists in San Antonio are uninsured, if you didn't know that. And that means that those same people will most likely be people that are going to be stealing, breaking the Seventh Commandment. So we have to make sure we protect public safety, uphold it, and have the back of our police force because they will unfund, this will be another way to unfund police work and to keep us safe. Any thoughts or, or uh, comments about that? That's Parkland? right, sir. I mean, these things are straight out of the playbook of Marxism, socialism, and uh, these things are offensive to God's people and therefore offensive to the Lord himself. And so that's why I hope uh, that you stand up and fight and uh, to get these these persons out of office. I mean, they should have never been elected in the first place. This mayor of San Antonio and every single member of the city council. Uh, one of them, his name's Courage. They say uh, he's probably the best fellow out of them. Well, that doesn't say much. <laughs> and he's uh, absolutely lacking in the substance of courage because they didn't, I didn't hear these guys say a word tonight about uh, anything in opposition to, to what to their, they to are. To their defense, they're to, not supposed to say anything tonight. They're supposed to listen to us. And most of them did. There were a couple that on the left, these women over here on their phone are playing around. But to their credit, they were sitting there listening. But they'll, we'll hear them tomorrow morning, and they'll get a chance to, to give their excuses. Uh, I would be surprised to tell you the truth if, if uh, 
if they judge if they voted in uh, in a way to reject this I, I think their whole cloth in on it and uh, but we continue to keep our hope to the Lord to pray and to fight for our freedom God amen bless you. amen thank you father Clay so let's walk over here real quick and see if we can get a comment from one other person who spoke tonight it'll be real brief and uh, I want to say hello to Miss Betty Eckert. She can Miss Betty wave at everybody. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for standing true and persevering through love. Tomorrow's going to be a good day. Yes, tomorrow will be a good day. Just, just a minute. Oh, you got something? To do? That's mine. That's my camera. It's my tripod. Yes, ma'am. Don't let me feel get it. I'm going to walk over here to this group of people that are, some of them spoke. Thank you for speaking. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Good. We'd like to get your information so we can connect. If it does pass the voters' approval, right? Yeah. And it's challenged by the, the state attorney general of Paxton, and it goes into litigation. The city, the city lawyer, and the lawyers that they bring on in the suit are going to have to defend it. And just how we lost over six million dollars because of the rogue, you know, situation with a sanctuary city bill. That's our money that's being taken from us. So is it? So isn't there something wrong with 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 the way the charter is written about how how you get these type of petitions? So it's not the charter. Okay, so they're deep in conversation, and um, we're gonna turn around here and and um, so we're at the the B session of City Council has closed already, and there were a few people that spoke out against the unjust justice policy. The rest of us were out of the press conference coming in. We came in at 4:44, 4:43, and 4:44 to sign up by 4:45. And they had changed the time sometime, sometime earlier this year to re deadline to sign up is 4.40 p.m. So we were unable to speak tonight. We will be here tomorrow morning. So don't make the mistake and sign up in person like we did. Sign up online, saspeakup.com. Uh, it might be .org, but SA is in San Antonio. SA Speak Up. SA Speak Up. Go and sign there and put it in your comment. You can go to sanantoniofamilyassociation.com for information about this unjust justice policy so you can develop your argument. We'll have our, we have our information there at sanantoniofamilyassociation.com forward slash prop as in proposition. sanantoniofamilyassociation.com forward slash prop and uh, you'll find information and send your, feel free to copy anything we have there, make it your own and send it into the mayor and city council. It'll go straight through them to, at sapeakup.com. Thank you very much for your time and attention. May God bless Texas, may God bless San Antonio. Let's keep San Antonio safe. Keep it a safe city, not a criminal sanctuary. We have to protect San Antonio. Tell your city councilman and mayor to vote no. Do not ratify the unjust justice policy. Do not put it on the May 6, 2023 ballot. If they do, they will be subverting their authority and responsibility to the citizens of San Antonio. They'll be on that same ballot for re-election come May 6, 2023. You need to get them pin them down where they have to make a stance. They cannot run and hide because Andy Scovia, the city attorney, told them they, don't have to, they shouldn't be commenting on this. Don't let them get away with it. They have a responsibility to you and to the citizen, to all citizens, to speak up either for or against the unjust justice policy. Let them know where they are. And then if they aren't with San Antonio, if they're for the justice policy, they are not for San Antonio. They are for anarchy. So thank you very much for your time and attention. I'm Patrick Vondolan with the San Antonio Family Association. May God abundantly bless you. Have a great night. Adios.